Hello and Assalamualaikum. We are going to proceed to chapter 4 which is about chemical equation and stoichiometry. Chapter 4.1 learning outcome is uh, we are going to learn about this one first. Eh? A. Determine the oxidation number of an element in a chemical formula. So oxidation number. What is oxidation number? Yeah? Uh, it is a number of electron that an atom either gain or loses in order to form a chemical bond with another atom. So it can be either positive charge or negative charge uh, for the oxidation number. Okay, next, how to determine the oxidation number? Uh, for element at its standard state, okay, as an atom or molecule, the oxidation number for the molecule or for the atom is zero. For example, okay, Na here, Na in in its uh, standard state is zero. Cl two, the Cl two itself, everything here, everything not Cl Cl two. Yeah, what I mean is that Cl with Cl, so all this is zero. Okay, all this, the oxidation number is zero. So the same thing for Br two, which is zero. Oxygen O2 also 0 and Mg also 0. Okay, so this is element at standard state or sometimes we call free element. Eh? For monoatomic ion, eh? so the keyword here is ion, eh? the oxid oxidation number is equal to the charge of the ion. Okay, for example, if we look at the sodium ion, this is ion, yeah, so positive charge. So this one is positive 1 and this is the oxidation number. Magnesium ion 2 plus. So the oxidation number is plus 2. Okay, write down plus 2. Yeah. Aluminium plus 3, the oxidation number. And the same thing for this one, sulfur, which is negative 2. So this is all our oxidation number for ion. Not atoms, not molecule. Uh, but this one is for ion. Okay, halogens uh, always have negative 1 in its comp compound. Fluorine is halogen. Eh? Fluorine is one part of the halogen. So, positive number can occur. But this one, when the halogen bonded with oxygen. So, let's see. Oxidation number in sodium fluoride. Okay, sodium fluoride here. So, fluorine. We are looking for the fluorine. Okay. Oxidation number of fluorine in NaF is negative 1. Uh, so this one is correct because Na become Na plus and fluorine will become uh, F minus. Okay, so this one will cancel off. Huh? Positive 1 plus negative 1 equals to 0, right? So that's why NaF is 0. Okay, the molecule, the oxidation number for the molecule NaF is 0. But oxidation number for fluorine is negative 1. Oxidation number for Na is positive 1. Okay. And the same thing for HCl. Okay. Uh, HCl, H plus, plus Cl minus. Okay. So this one is positive 1, right? So this one is negative 1. So you plus uh, all these two, it will become 0. So that's why HCl molecule is 0. Okay. But oxidation number for hydrogen ion here, is positive 1 but for chlorine it is negative 1 okay okay but what about this one oxidation number chlorine uh, in Cl2O7 okay we are looking for chlorine there are two chlorine in Cl2O7 and it is positive 7 so how can we get positive 7 okay so let's try to calculate oxidation number in polyatomic ion Okay, uh, so let's try to determine the oxidation number of Cl in Cl2O7 earlier. Uh, okay, for this one, this one is neutral. Uh, this one is neutral. So this one is not in uh, polyatomic ion. This is in polyatomic molecule. Sorry, uh, polyatomic molecule. Okay, because this one is not ion. Uh. Uh, if this one have charge, for example, negative or positive, uh, this one will become ion. Uh. So this one is not. Uh, this one is not ion so this one is just molecule so how to calculate 
Okay, you write down first because you are going to determine the CL. You write down like this. So CL two. Okay, CL. There are two CL, right? So you write down two CL. Okay, because there are CL two here means there are two CL in one molecule of CL two O seven plus seven. Okay, seven, seven. Because there are seven oxygen and oxygen usually is negative two. Okay. Oxygen is usually negative two charge. Uh, oxygen does not have more than one oxidation number. It is always negative two. Eh? So the total charge for this molecule, total charge, this one is neutral, right? So it is actually zero. Okay. If this one is negative one, okay. If this one, like this, eh? if this one is Cl two O seven negative, uh, it means that this one will become negative one. If this one is positive 2, uh, it means that this one will become positive 2. Uh, but now it is not like this. It is 0, right? So 0. So that one will become 0. Ah. So you can further calculate. So 2Cl plus negative 14 equals to 0. So 2Cl equal to this one you bring uh, to the right. So it will become positive 14. So, you are looking for Cl. Determine the oxidation number for Cl. So, Cl, this one, you bring to this part. It will become positive 14 over 2. Okay, because this one is multiply, right? 2 multiply uh, Cl. So, this one will become divide. So positive 7. Ah, so, this is how you get positive 7. Let's look at the... Slide earlier, uh, this one, positive 7. This is how you get positive 7 because of that calculation. Okay, so you need to be uh, very good in determining the oxidation number for polyatomic ions or polyatomic molecule. And this is the proper method. Uh. The same thing, the same calculation. Uh. Okay, more. Uh, one more exercise. Um, Assign the oxidation number for magnesium. Eh, magnesium. Manganese, sorry. Manganese, magnesium is Mg. Eh? In the following chemical compound. Okay, answer is given. But how can we get the oxidation number for Mn in MnO2 that is positive 4? And how can we get oxidation number of Mn in MnO4- that is positive 7? So, let's try to calculate. Eh? Okay, so earlier, you just need to write down. Mn, okay, it is only 1 Mn plus 2, 2 times negative 2 equal to, what is the charge? 0, so 0, so Mn plus negative 4 equals 0, so Mn is actually, when you bring negative 4 to the right, it will become positive 4, so the oxidation number for Mn is positive 4. Okay, what about this one? So again, Mn plus 4 times oxygen, negative 2, always negative 2. Okay, and there, there is negative sign here. So the molecule here, or the ion here, is negatively charged. So you put negative 1. And solve this one mathematically. So plus 4 times 2 is 8. So negative 8 equal to negative 1. So Mn, uh, this one you bring to the right. So it means that uh, this one will become positive 8. Positive 8. Okay, let me just write it down. Lah. So negative 1 plus 8. So this one will become positive 7. Uh, this one because you bring... Uh, negative 8 to the right, it will become positive, right? So, positive 7. So, this is how you get positive 7. Okay, so that's it uh, about oxidation number. Uh, I will give you some exercise in the Google form. So, try to answer that one. And then, good luck. Please study. Help me by subscribing to this channel. Bye.